In this Helix Minute, we're going to show you how to create and use multiple signal paths. Splitting a signal path is done by simply selecting any block in your signal chain, then pressing the action button to pick it up. Press down on the joystick and then press action again to place the block. Now you'll see we have created a parallel path 1B. Our dry signal continues through on path 1A, while the delay on path 1B is now in parallel. This routing gives some separation of your dry signal and affected signal, which is beneficial when you really dial up the effects. You can also move the split and merge points the same way you would move an effect in Helix. This is useful for routing certain effects to ensure they don't interact with other effects. If we want reverb on the amp signal, but we don't want the delay we brought down earlier to feed into the reverb, we can move the split and merge blocks. This way, your tone will remain clear even with a lot of ambient effects added. Notice that you can also move the merge block down to path 1B, which gives the option for completely separate outputs. The output of path 1 can also be sent to path 2 for more effects, additional DSP resources, or more routing flexibility. Select the output on path 1 and rotate the joystick one click clockwise to see it continue down to path 2. You can also press the joystick to see a list of output options. Well, that should give you plenty of ideas to play with. Please be sure to check out other Helix Minute videos by visiting line6.com. Thank you so much for watching and hope to see you in the next video.